150 rand on a sponge. On a sponge. 450. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I decided to do a little bit of a makeup starter kit for somebody who is on a budget but wants to try out makeup. I know I read a comment on one of my videos from somebody who was really young, maybe like 13 or 15 and she was asking me to do a giveaway and I thought, wow, she's new to makeup and I thought, wow, okay. This would be a really good time for me to do a makeup starter kit for someone who is like really, really new to makeup. So if you are, listen, a makeup connoisseur and you know your business about makeup, then this is not the video for you. But if you are on a makeup budget and you are new to makeup, but you want to keep trying more and more makeup and things like that, then definitely this is the video for you. So if you would like to see this video, then let's get started because we got a lot to get through. Okay. So the first thing we would start out with is priming your face. What happens is you can you get a lot of moisturizers which actually leave your skin feeling a little bit tacky, which is great for makeup application. If not, a really great, which I don't have, I really don't have it here. A really great primer is the one from Maybelline. Um, baby pores, baby something, I'll put it here, I'll put a picture here. That's a really, really great primer for starters if you're looking for a good primer. It leaves your skin feeling a little bit sticky tacky and it's great to apply your makeup on. Okay, okay. And then the next most important thing that you need to cover, especially in your makeup life, is brows, okay? The best thing to get started with is brows. And I've got three products here which I'm going to show you. The first one is the Maybelline Brow Satin Pencil, okay? And this one is in dark brown. So basically, it winds up on the one side. It's a pencil on the one side. And on the other side, it's sort of like a... Um, it connects to something. It's like a sponge that disperses uh, brown liquid or brown, some brown sort of liquid. But this is really, really good because uh, having used it before, I know that the pencil side is very, very good. It's easy to work with and it's just really, really good and bang for your buck at the same time. And then on the days where you feel like you don't want to do anything to your brows but just brush some sort of uh, darkening product on it or some sort of just to make them put together a really good one that I love even till today is this one from Essence this is the Essence Make Me Brow Pencil gel mascara gel mascara not pencil okay get your life girl it works so well to just rub product in there make your brows a little bit darker and you're good to go you don't even have to worry about it just make sure that you shape your brows Okay, please. After brows, well, I'm going to do it in the order of how I would apply the makeup. After brows, I normally go onto my eyes. And a very good uh, palette that you can get started with, which I think is great because it doesn't have colors that are too eccentric and that are too over the top or colors that, you know, they're a little bit difficult. You get afraid to work with. Like palettes with colors like purple and orange and what have you are a little bit difficult. But if you start with working with warm colors first, I think it's very, very good if you're somewhat the sun in and out of the clouds. That's probably why my background is a little bit dark, but we're gonna have to work with it. This from NYX, this is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, and this is in warm neutrals. Very, very nice. If you look at all the colors, it's so nice. They're warm colors. They're very easy to work with. They blend in seamlessly. It's a really good all-rounder palette that you can have for a while before moving on to another palette. So I really, really like that. And of course, to apply your eyeshadows onto your, your lids, okay, you're gonna need brushes. So the really, really good brand that is very, very cost-effective is from Carla, Carla Brushes. You can find these at Discam Pharmacies. Very, 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 very nice brushes that work so, so well in terms of uh, applying your makeup and things like that. I really, really love this. So that's a good combination to get. Um, this is the only palette, no, it's not. Another good palette that I have is this one from um, Rimmel, and this is Rimmel Magnifies. I love this palette. Also very, very neutral, as you can see. Very, very neutral. Got nice colors, something that you can work with. Very, very easy, and it's a great way to get started into your eyeshadow game. I love these ones because they teach you how you can apply the eyeshadow on your eye. So use this as a first step, and this color as a second step, and yada, yada, yada. So this is really, really good. And then I will typically move on to my face. And listen, the best thing for your face in your makeup life, trust me, concealer. 
You can get away with using just concealer on your face without foundation. I promise you that. This is the LA Girl Concealers. These are like a staple in a beauty person's life or in a makeup person's life. They are a staple. They are so, so good that you can just use concealer, blend it in, cover up with powder and you're done. You really don't have to use liquid foundation. So I really think this is a great start. This is more of a corrector. As you can see, it's orange. So you cover, you use this on the parts where you've got dark marks on your face correct and then you follow with a concealer to conceal you know with that concealer you need a blending sponge so uh this is the real technique space miracle complexion sponge guys let us not fall into that whole beauty blender life yes beauty blenders are great but ain't nobody try to spend 400 rand 450 rand on a sponge on a sponge 450 oh gosh Oh gosh. So this is much, much better in terms of price range. It's about 120, 115, 120. For me, I feel this one is the next best thing just after the beauty blender. And you just wet this and you blend in your concealer with this, even your foundation. If you are looking for foundation, a really good foundation to start out with is this. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. What a lot. Okay, this is really, really good as well super fantastic easy to work with easy to blend in not matte i think if you are starting out with your foundation life i really don't suggest matte foundations being the way to go first this is a personal preference i really think you should definitely try out uh using um sort of the dewy foundations first and this one really gives a nice dewy glow not too much not too matte but very very good and the price range absolutely great i think you're looking at 170 something Garrett's, Garrett's. And then of course to set your face, I think I did not add contour powders and things like that into the mix because this is for makeup beginners. So to set your face, this is really, really good. This is the LA Girl as well from the same same line, same line, LA Girl uh, Pro Face High Definition Matte Press Powder. This, it's matte, yes, but you can just set it lightly so that a little bit of the illuminosity from your liquid foundation comes through. This is really, really good. I think it sets com like amazingly. You can't go wrong. Another set is I just don't have it here with me the Maybelline fit me set. They're great for starters as well fit me powder and fit me uh, uh, Foundation really really good as well. So yes price range very very good. I did not add lashes into this because I also think that You know, that's when you're intermediate to like advanced makeup stages So this is really just for makeup beginners of course Mascara. This is the Revlon Dramatic Definition Mascara. These are really, really good as well. I like them. I actually, my favorite Revlon Mascara is the 3D Volume Mascara. Woo! Girl, bash. So if you want to achieve length, then you look for one that's got to do with length. If you want to achieve volume, then you look for one that's got to do with volume. Lips. Two lipsticks that I'm going to mention. This is a South African lipstick company called Eminence Cosmetics run by a good friend of mine. Her name is Refilwe. These are great. These are great for whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate, whether you're expert. These are a great set of matte lipsticks, but these are really, really great if you want to find her. Eminence Cosmetics on Instagram. If not, try... Um, Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has awesome lipsticks in all sorts of shades. And one of my favorite shades is this one. This is uh, spiced with rum. Really, really nice. Something you can wear. Oh, let me just swatch it quickly. Something you can wear on a daily. It's so, so nice. You can mix it with a brown lip liner as well. And it just looks like really nice and nude-like. Really love it. Such a beautiful color. Those are all the things that I could think of. So definitely just... Get your feet wet, try it out, but these are great starter products for somebody who is new to makeup. Other than that, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to rush through this video because I felt like it was going to be so long. But I hope you guys... Ooh, touch the lipstick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Other than that, I will see you in the next one.